Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Season 5, Episode 16, Dr. Pashir, I presume. Uh, this was a great episode, and what I liked about it is that it kind of brings in the Voyager just a little bit. Robert Picardo makes his appearance as Louis Zimmerman, who we kind of see in Voyager, but only as a hologram, whereas we finally get to meet the actual person. So Dr. Zimmerman shows up and he talks about how he was the creator of the EMH, the Emergency Medical Hologram, who m most people know from Voyager, but he also makes a little cameo appearance in the first Contact movie. And he has decided to go for a long-term holographic doctor, the, the L. MH, the long-term medical hologram. And of course, everybody's like, wait, are you trying to put doctors out of business? And he just kind of does a face palm a little bit. And he's like, no, why is everybody always worried that holograms are going to replace real doctors? Let me tell you something. As somebody who works in retail, I hear that that phrase a lot, especially with like self-checkouts. Like, oh, you're getting rid of cashiers. And it's like, no, that's not how this works. So I don't know, that little glimmer right there, like really connected with me. Um, so he shows up and Dr. Bashir has been chosen as the new, as the template for the LMH. And <clears throat> so we basically see Zimmerman talking to Bashir's friends and co-workers and all of that. And Bashir's like fr upfront and real and honest. And he's like, you know, if you wouldn't mind, don't talk to my parents, please, because I'm not close to them. We don't really get along. I haven't seen them for years. So if you could just leave them out of this, that'd be great. And Zimmerman's like, oh yeah, I understand. Bashir walks away and he gets out his little notebook and he's like, contact Bashir's parents immediately. So Bashir's parents show up and then over the course of the episode, we realize that when Bashir was six years old, six or seven, I don't remember, um, he was kind of an awkward child. He was not very bright. Like other kids were reading and writing and he couldn't tell the difference between a cat and a dog. And so his father had him genetically engineered to make him smarter. So they change their name, they, they move, they go away. And he talks about how like his IQ was jumping three points a day for two weeks. And now he was the number one in the class. He was the smartest kid ever. That's why he became a doctor. And they actually mention how like sometimes genetic engineering, like for every Julian Bashir we get, we get a, a con, which I, just, I think that's the second time con has been referred to. Picard mentioned him one time in The Next Generation, and now they mention him here too. And it's it's super illegal, it's against the Federation, it's against everything. And Pashir's like, you know, you too, being on this station, if this gets out, like, I could lose my medical degree, we could all go to jail, like, all sorts of bad stuff could happen. And the parents are like, no, we'll, we'll, we've done this for 25 years, we can keep this a secret. So they, they have this big fight, and finally they come back to Dr. Bashir, and they're like, so yes, you were genetically engineered, and we're sorry, but we promise we'll keep it a secret. And they leave, and it turns out that they weren't even talking to Dr. Bashir. They were talking to Chief O'Brien and Dr. Zimmerman's, like, template hologram. And so now they know, and so Zimmerman's like, oh, this is going to be great. And because the guy's kind of a dick, and he just wants to start drama. So he's like, I'm going to tell Starfleet, and I'm going to tell everybody, and you're going to go to jail, and you're life's gonna be ruined because my life sucks so why shouldn't your life um by the time we get to the end of the episode it's kind of interesting his father ends up taking the blame and he's like you know what i'm gonna go to jail for two years and you get to stay where you're at because you didn't have a choice i forced it upon you and it's kind of a heartbreaking episode to watch dr Bashir's family come in and then basically get in trouble for creating him and then have to go to jail for it Overall, I thought it was a great episode. I really, really enjoyed it. I Sometimes the Dr. Prashir episodes can be a little slow or a little hokey. This one I thought was great. I really liked it. And I think it was really nice to see Robert Picardo make an appearance. Like, we've we've already seen Tuvok in one episode. And now this is the second Voyager actor we've seen in an episode. And I thought they did really well. So, for those who have seen this one, what did you think about Dr. Prashir's, like, big reveal that he's a genetically engineered human? What did you think about Robert Picardo's appearance as Zimmerman? And what did you guys think overall? Go ahead, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for the subscriptions, the requests. Thank you guys for everything. I will see you guys next time for a simple investigation.